Today we are going to talk about how I would spend my money on a system with all of the products that I've discussed up to this date. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about how I would spend my money. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We have over 750 videos, so there's probably something here for you. So please, today, donate your subscription. It's free. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the system that I would put together with the products that I have right now. But this is what I would want, the sound that I like. But if I had nothing and I was starting today, these are the products that I would buy. So for my budget system, the source would be Weem Pro. The reason why I'm using this is it's kind of a digital preamp. You have a line input right here. So if I wanted to put a photo stage, I could line output. So if I didn't have a DAC, I could use the internal DAC, but we're not gonna be using the internal DAC on this affordable system. So I would connect the DAC either via optical output or via coaxial output. However, if you wanted to run a TV into this, you could hook the TV up via optical input. So all my streaming needs are gonna be met with this. I use Tidal or Amazon Music almost exclusively. So the Ween Pro is gonna take care of my streaming. Also, I use AirPlay a lot, so AirPlay 2 is in here. For my DAC, I would use the SMSL SU1, comes in at $80, has everything that I need on the back. Optical connection, USB connection, coaxial connection, and then a single RCA output. $80, I think this is the best sounding DAC that you can get under $100. Then I would hook up the Fozzy Audio V3 and I would purchase their 48 volt five amp power supply. I think that's about 20 or $30 upcharge. Then I would have that connected to the Emotiva B1 Plus. They're coming in around 280 bucks now. Then I would hook up the Fluence RT81 that has an internal phono preamp. So I would hook that up to the analog input of my Weem Pro. And then finally, I would round out this whole thing with the Emotiva SE12, which is heavily on sale. It's a subwoofer, heavily on sale for $269. So for a whopping $1,167, I have streaming, I have a fully functioning DAC, I have an awesome subwoofer, and I have vinyl with an internal phono preamp. Now, this may not necessarily be what you choose. This is what I am choosing. Obviously, if you don't need a turntable, you could take that off. If you don't need a streamer, you could take that off. But this is kind of like my preamp. So I kind of need this thing regardless. So let's ramp it up a little bit. What would be my mid-tier system? So my mid-tier system would still have a Weem Pro in it. For my preamp though, I'm going with the Schitt Saga. It has a whole bunch of analog inputs on the back and two analog outputs. One would go to an amplifier, the other would go to a subwoofer. I would use the Gishelli Labs J2 DAC going into it for all of my digital needs. So I'd have Weem connected to the J2 via optical or coax, I, I like optical. Then the Gishelli Labs J2 would go into this single-ended. And then my main amp outputs on the Saga would be going into this Lokius. It's a six band EQ. And then the output, interestingly enough, would be going back into the Fozzy Audio V3. That's how much I like this thing. At this point, I would have an RT85 turntable going into an iFi Zen Phono, which would then go into one of the analog inputs on my Schitt Saga. So we got the Ween Pro, the Schitt Saga, Ween Pro's 150, Schitt Saga's 300, Schitt Locius, that's another 300, iFi Zen Phono, another 200, Gishelli Labs J2, I would get a wood case, I would get the one, eh, it's like 350. I'll get the one with the rollable op amps. The RSL Speed Woofer, which comes in at 449, the 10 inch, Emotiva B2 Plus, which is the six and a half inch two-way speaker, that's 359, and then the RT85 turntable, that's 499. So that would be a total of $2,607. Your mileage may vary. You might not need the EQ. You might not need the turntable, which means you definitely wouldn't need the phono preamp. This is just what my personal system would be. Let's step it up a bit. 
So for my expensive system, I would start with the Emotiva PT2 preamp. It has an internal DAC. It also has an internal phono preamp, neither of which I'm using. Not saying that they're bad, I just have my personal preference. For the DAC, again, I'm going with a Gishelli Labs J2, the AKM version. That comes in at 350. Also connecting a Weem to that J2, so that's another 150. For my phono preamp, I'm getting the Project 2Box S2, which is $500. For my turntable, I am now going with the U-Turn Theory, that's $1,000. For the amplification, I'm going with the XPA Gen 3 from Emotiva, the two-channel variation, that's $1,200. For my subwoofer, I'm going with the RSL 12S, which is $800. This thing is a beast. And for my speakers, I know this is going to sound weird because it's a smaller speaker, Q Acoustics 5020, which comes in at $900. So I have a streamer. I have an awesome DAC. I have an awesome phono preamp. I have an awesome turntable. I have an amplifier that's monstrous. And if I ever want to add to it, as far as like doing some home theater duties, I can send it back into Emotiva. They can drop in some more modules. I have a ginormous subwoofer, which sounds awesome. Maybe one of my favorite things I've got in the house right now. And then the Q Acoustic 5020, which is an amazing bookshelf speaker. Every time I listen to it, I like it more and more. Grand total, $55.99. So we're getting up there a little bit. Obviously, I could change out some of these components for more affordable components. If I was on a bit of a budget, I would probably go for the RT85 turntable from Fluence. That would save me 500 bucks. I could go with the iFi Zen Phono for $200. That would save me another $300. So that saves me a total of $800. I could always go with the smaller subwoofer. So there's things that I could do if I wanted to shave off some costs. I could even switch out the PT2 for the Saga, but I like the fact that the PT2 has tone controls, really good remote control. So let's talk about the non-negotiables in here. From the standpoint that I would include this in all the systems, it's the Ween Pro. I just think it's a great streamer, and I choose the Ween Pro over more expensive things like the Blue Sound Note or anything like that. So I really like the Ween Pro, that's $150. The DAC is kind of a non-negotiable for my two upper systems. If I had to really save some money, I would go with the SU-1. But the J2 from Gishelli Labs, the AKM version, and now I would probably get the version that has rollable op amp. So it has the op amp receiver on it. And that's really it. Otherwise, I kinda, I'm kind of willing to switch things in and out. Remember, this is just my personal preference. There's a whole bunch of awesome products out there that are less expensive or maybe more expensive that you maybe like better. But this would just be my system. For a kind of do-it-all home theater setup, I would have the Schkit Sin, which comes in at $400. I would have three Fozzy Audio V3s that would come in around 100 bucks a piece because I'd want the 48 volt 5 amp power supply. So that's $300 plus the Schkit Sin, which is $400. So that's $700. I would add the iFi Zen Phono to it for another $200. So that's $900. Then I put the RT82 into the iFi Zen. That Zen would go into the analog input of the Schkit Sin. Subwoofer again would be the RSL Speedwoofer, the 10 inch version. Then I would use my TV going into the optical input and figure a way out to stream my music through my TV, which would then come back through the Schkit Sin. For my speakers, I'd have the B1 Plus from Emotiva at $279. I'd also buy the Yamo 5 speaker setup for my rears. That's $150. And then I'd have the 10 inch Speedwoofer for $449 for a total of $2,078. Still pretty expensive. And I'm not going to go into my high end home theater because that would just be ridiculous. Ridiculous. And these are the systems that I pretty much use all the time. So if you think there's something cool, put it down in the comments. If you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audiman, patron only Zooms, patron only Discord, patron only Facebook group. You can use the links in the description. Those, most of them are affiliate links, which means if you click and buy, I get a commission. It doesn't cost you any more though, so it's a great way to support the channel. You can also sign up for Amazon Music, Tidal, or Rune. Links in the description. Even if you quit, I get a couple of bucks. You can also 
buy me a cup of coffee. Put some money in the tip jar down at the bottom of the video. There's a thanks button. If you click on it, you can give me a couple of bucks, but don't feel compelled to give me anything. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen, maybe through one of my systems and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm a cheap audio man.